What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, we're gonna be talking about inheritance in Java. This is going to be one of the four pillars of object-oriented programming. And inheritance is arguably one of the most common. You're going to see inheritance everywhere and you probably have already seen it. If you've ever been looking around at code and at the top of a class, you see this peculiar extends keyword that is going to be inheritance in Java. So the most common places you would just be cruising around in IntelliJ, just having a ball. Next thing you know, you see this extends keyword and maybe it just looks something like this. Or maybe even more, you've been in IntelliJ and for some reason you get access to methods and you get access to properties that you don't actually see anywhere in your program. That could actually be also be another way that inheritance could be, um, you could be seeing inheritance. So the best way to kind of understand inheritance is to understand a use case of when you would use inheritance. And object-oriented programming really at the end of the day is just a way to make your code look better and be more manageable more scalable and less redundant. And a good way to kind of illustrate this is you're at work one day, boss comes in and says, you need to create a, a utility. We've got some kind of crazy issue with the network and we need just somebody to code up a quick utility with certain specifications and it needs to ping certain address and it also needs to check DNS for certain addresses. And you're coding along, you're having a great time and you've put all of these methods and you've put all of your ping and your DNS and your IP into one network utility. And you begin to realize that this is this class is getting huge and I could actually separate all of these out into different utilities. And that's exactly what you do. There's nothing wrong with that. You just begin to break it up a very common thing, but you also begin to realize that the IP is used by everything. It's used by the network utility. It's used by ping. It's used by DNS. What is a good way that all of these classes could still have the IP utility and we could still separate out this DNS? This is where inheritance comes to the rescue. So what we would do is we would just keep our IP within that giant network utility, we would bust apart the network utility into three classes, just the network utility, the ping and the DNS. And we would have it so that the ping is extended from the network utility. So the best way to kind of illustrate this is once again, our extends keyword. And just to think about it as we're just going to extends, we are just going to extend the network utility so that our IP address can still be accessed by the ping and by the DNS. And all of this code is essentially inherited, or I think of it almost as like a waterfall. Just all of this code is just going to be dumped down into our DNS, into our ping, and we can easily be able to use this all throughout our program. And back to the case, remember when I said that sometimes you will see methods and you'll see properties and you will see code inside of classes that aren't there that is the case where you would sit where uh inheritance where that waterfall of code is being dumped down into our dns and into our actual pain classes so all of this code that we originally coded will be put down into our dns and into our ping and we can access this ip address both within our ping and our dns and it's almost like it's there, but it's like a ghost. It's like ghost code, like it's there, but it's not really there at the same time. So let's just go ahead and go into IntelliJ and let's actually start working on this and let's code up a real example or a very fairly real example. Okay, so let's go into our network utility. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create, once again, our network utility class. Then what we do is we go into here, you can add anything you want to. And truth be told, you could just turn this into like an animal or like dog class or anything. And you can just test out inheritance at 
your whim. This doesn't have to be a network utility class. Feel free to change it up, have a little fun, and don't worry so much that it's a network utility because the network utility is not going to be even a real one. It's just going to be a dummy one. So we have our target IP, and then we're just going to put 192.168.1.1. Then what we do is let's just make our fancy ping and let's just make a couple fake pings. So we've got our ping class right here and send ping and we'll go south and then we'll have ping sent. We'll just say ping sent exclamation mark. Then what we want to do is we want to go down here and let's just create our fake DNS. So we're going to go fake or send void send DNS request just like this. Go down here, we'll go south, and then we'll say D send DNS. So send, send DNS request. Okay, so this is the part where we begin to realize that, hey, maybe we could make this a little less redundant and we can break this apart into smaller subclasses. So what we do is we go over here, then we're going to go, we're going to make our ping, and then we're going to make our DNS. So send DNS. Uh, now let's just call it DNS, just like that. And then we're gonna take out our send ping, and we're gonna put it in within our ping class because once again, we're trying to make our code more dry, less redundant. And if you don't know what the acronym dry is, it stands for don't repeat yourself. So we're just trying not to repeat ourselves here. So we're gonna, since we've already, or since we're going to inherit, we can go ahead and get rid of this. We're making our code more dry. Then we can go in here and we can just take out this DNS, DNS request. <clears throat> then we can go ahead and put that in here. So now that we've got everything out, we've got everything dry, everything looking good. Let's just go into here and uh, make one more class just for good time's sake that will be shared amongst both the DNS and the ping. So we'll go send um, packet. We'll just, this is just anonymous packet. If you don't know what a packet is in networking, it's the smallest form of networking that you can, you can actually send and it's sent by both DNS and ping. Doesn't really even matter. So packet sent packet so then we'll just go up here we'll go sent packet exclamation mark we are looking good so now what we want to do is we're going to go up here and we're going to go into our extends and now this is where we're going to extend our network utility and then we're going to go down to our ping and we're going to do the exact same thing so we go in here and we go network utility looking good so now let's actually test out our ping and let's test out our DNS and let's make sure that these are actually being inherited. And the way that we can do that is we can just go ping and we'll just new up a quick ping just like that. That looks good. And we'll also new up a good DNS. Nothing like a good new and up. So we'll go DNS. <laughs> And we'll go down here and then we'll let's go ahead and let's check out the IntelliSense on our ping and let's see if we're actually getting this code from our network utility. And would you look at that? We've got our host IP, we've got our target IP, and we're getting an error here. We see, oh, not a statement. Um, let's just go ahead and test out our send ping and then we'll go into our DNS and we're going to go in here and We'll say send DNS request and let's go into our let's go into our ping and let's just test one more to see we'll say send packet and if you remember correctly the send packet is going to be available in the DNS too because it is also available in that DNS or uh, network utility so what we're gonna do is just go ahead and run it I think that the point has already been made because we've inherited from all these classes, we get access to all of them and we get access to everything that's from the network utility inside of our subclasses, the DNS in the ping. So let's go back to our main. Let's go ahead and run it, see if, make sure everything's working. Ping sent, sent DNS request, sent packet. Everything is looking good. Everything has inherited 
and that is pretty much inheritance and that's it's really not that complicated anyway i hope that you guys enjoyed this if you did make sure to hit that like button hit that subscribe button and as always thank you for watching